Well, we got two problems with the old farm truck, the old 4 F350. We got over 600,000 miles on it now, but uh, family members driving yesterday and lost all brake fluid. And we got another problem with the Pierce lift kit. Just went to lift it, it's been leaking for a while. As you can see down the ground, it just spewed out. This sill's gone bad, so we gotta change that out. But we've had this lift kit in here, what, three or four years now? It's the first time we're having to actually work on anything. And we've done I, a thousand loads minimum on, with this thing. So it's been pretty flawless for the most part. No big deal, Get re, uh, placing the sills on that cylinder. It'd be easy fix. But I think, can't find any brake line fluid leaks except for maybe over here. But the, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not it's like little shiny metal right here and then this rotor right here i don't know if i can get the phone even in there you can see where the rotor's all gouged up i think what's happened didn't say anything about the noise he just talked to him a minute ago said he's been hearing a grinding noise for the last week and kept driving it and i think it's actually gone through the caliper it's probably damaged the piston one of the pistons on the uh caliper that's because there are some fluid leakage down on the bottom, but I believe the whole problem's there, so I'm gonna have to basically pull the whole, this whole side all apart, because, and we'll just find out what's going on. But uh, that's the problem with it. He called me up last night, said he lost 99% of his brakes. I'm just like, what the heck? But anyways, we're gonna pull this apart and we'll see what's going on. There's how bad he let the caliper get. See the pistons and pieces? Look at this mess. There's the brake pad, straight through the rivets. Here's the back side of the rotor. Gonna have to change that out too. Gotta pull everything apart. But that's uh, that's the reason why you lost all brake pressure. That's ridiculous. Okay, everyone. Had to put a new caliper on there and I put some cheap brake shoes on temporarily because my auto parts store cannot get a new rotor in until Tuesday. So I'll have to wait. Truck's still being used. Matter of fact, it's just as who's this morning on the farm here. But uh, that's the new caliper on it. I'm going to replace the brake shoes on the other side too. I went ahead and ordered a rotor for that side. But um, there's a new caliper on it. Yeah, don't, I don't, people just need to stop. When they hear a brake noise, they need to check stuff, not keep driving it until you basically explode the pistons and the caliper. But take care, everyone. Stay safe.